this is uh, the Monum 64 grid, and this hardware is called the Monum Arc. And they're both alike in that they don't do anything. They, you can press a button and that sends a message to the computer, or the computer can send a message to light up an LED. And the same thing with the Arc. The computer can send a message to light up an LED on the Arc, and when you move the knob, um, that sends a message to the computer. Anyway, uh, you're probably wondering what Grainstorm is. Uh, Grainstorm is what I was using in the, the Zoom video. And it's a, a granular synthesizer for, a, for, the, for the Monum. And uh, honestly, what is the deal with cats? I mean, years of artificial selection has created something with like this. She can't even groom her. She gets like three three licks, so oh, oh, and then she stops. She can't even groom herself. That's that's what we have here. <clears throat> anyway, uh, a granular synthesizer allows you to uh, uh, extract a tone from any signal source, including human speech. So if we like this, we can save this as a preset. So now we can play this. And if we wanted to, we could transpose any of these. And then save that as, as an example. Um, the transposition is butter smooth. The response is amazing. The This is the application that actually made me a believer in the resolution of the arc. I was really into it just to have a rotary encoder with some LED feedback, but it wasn't until I actually started working in Grainstorm that I actually understood what Brian was talking about when about noiseless high-resolution encoders. So anyway, um, you can play these as momentaries if you want. And you can tell the LED kind of picks up from wherever it was last. I mean, it's probably worth it just to be bouncing these two LEDs around like this, I think. Um, and then you can also, if you want, you can sequence. And then play that back. Um, and so you have you have four of these uh, available on Grainstorm, uh, at least in this version. I'm I'm still working on it.